howdy howdy my beautiful Taurus. how are you doing darling my name is simply velka and today Taurus, we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading for july today all right so if you enjoy this tarot reading Taurus, be sure to check out on the top right hand corner of your screen i'll leave a link to your monthly tarot reading to check out as well but also Taurus, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you today all right um as well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy in this vibe darling because it helps me out a lot when uh, you do that and it's completely free Taurus. now darling when you are consuming consuming tarot readings on youtube today taurus be sure to make sure you're consuming uh, more than just your sun sign you want to consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus all right taurus so let's just get right into your weekly tarot reading here today taurus your first row is going to be covering your messages about your career and your financial situation darling okay let's see what's going to be happening there and then in regards to your second row, Taurus, all right, um, there's some good thunder, honey. Your second row is going to be covering, Taurus, your social life. So this could be a romantic relationship, platonic, darling. All right, someone in the work, family, honey. All right. And then in the third row, Taurus, we're just going to be getting into some general tarot messages that y'all need to hear today. All right, Taurus. So starting this energy off, though, darling. All right. We have here the six of wands stepping forward to you. All right, Taurus. So with the six of wands here, this is my favorite. This is the overall theme of y'all's energy and what's going to be influencing each row, Taurus. All right, so we're starting out really positive. This is my fame and fortune card, Taurus, right? But I always like to say not everyone's looking, like not everyone's career um, pursuit is to be famous, right? Um, but overall what i see for you this week taurus is that you're being really noticed at this time this is really lucky prosperous time for you guys here taurus all right what i want to be saying for you guys is you're going to be noticing the sense of like i feel as if for you i'm getting like the storyline taurus where it's like you're the type of person where every time like a birthday comes your birthday comes around or like christmas if you celebrate it or what have you any type of gift giving you're always the first person towards to be like nah i don't want anything right it's just like you can save your money right taurus that's very much to you and i feel like in this way it's like the universe is acknowledging the selfless nature that you have taurus and you're being rewarded with that here it's where it's just like now it's time for your turn right we never do anything for taurus let's do a surprise party for taurus and really bring forth some really positive positive news here all right some of you guys might be hearing back from an interview i hear some of you might be hearing like especially if you've been waiting to hear news that's really what i want what i want to like drill in so taurus let's just get right into your tarot reading now today here let's see what cards we have going on for your career and your financial situation we have the knight of cups eight of swords Taurus, I am so sorry about that. I just had a lightning strike like right in front of my house. So <laughs> as I was saying beforehand, Taurus, before that happened, like that was kind of insane. Um, some opportunity is going to really be coming forward to you in your financial situation here. You might have been feeling as if you've been stuck, Taurus. You might have been trying to uh, manifest either an opportunity, when, you know, trying to get bring forth a job, Taurus. Or if you've been trying to increase, like, have an opportunity to increase your funds. Like, I feel like for you, Taurus, you're just in this place of where you no longer want to have to be in this place of constantly stressing about money so much. I see for you this week there's going to be an ample opportunity uh, should you start delving into that tour so where it's like some opportunity coming forward to you that will help pay off some debt all right either pay off some debts i get shown i'm being shown the ace of swords now Taurus, some of you guys might be having a creative idea or an idea of what you could be doing to make further financial um, abundance in your life and just take that as a blessing Taurus. and i really want to express that too take that as a blessing because um you really do have like a lot of solid like financial energy in your entire reading here not only because of the six of wands taurus all right not only because of this which is my favorite my card in the minor arcana but in your social row here um taurus you have the ten of pentacles which is the heart of your spread here for all three rows it's this is the heart so the ten of pentacles this is the most proper prosperous energy that you're wanting here taurus all right your family life is going to be start solidifying a little bit more things are going to be balancing themselves out here i really do get the 
this sense that for many Tauruses that have been feeling as if they've been drowning or just like constantly in survival mode, trying to just keep them and their loved ones like having a roof over their head, electricity paid here, things are going to be lightening up is something I want to be saying. Getting into the social aspect of this reading now, though the seven of wands ten of pentacles with the three of cups here all right you might be getting some help from other people taurus all right when it comes to um just your life in general i feel as if people especially with the six of wands blessing taurus like you are really attractive at this time i feel as if a lot of people want to reach out and connect with you taurus i feel like this is more so of a message darling which is like you don't realize how many people are riding with you or silent supporters of you until you ask for help all right Taurus some of you guys need to have that experience where you or your existence your personality gets validated from just simply asking for help and seeing who you know calling in the troops all right I feel like you'll be very pleasantly surprised by that Taurus all right another message that I want to be saying for you Taurus is, is that I get for many of you guys here of where um like family constraints or just family stresses like maybe things have been tense with certain family members Taurus I see that lightening up all right I see that lightening up a little bit here but overall it seems to be like especially in your social circle Taurus I won't be surprised if you hear about some really sh positive news with someone in your close circle here all right and somehow it impacts your own financial situation here so maybe someone that you live with someone you know like so it's like through their success you're successful as well like if that makes sense for you taurus okay now in your third row here darling all right your third row is covering just your general tarot messages for today taurus all right you have the sun energy the queen of wands with the moon energy stepping forward here all right a lot of sunlight darling a lot of sunlight a lot of light being shined in places of where you were feeling like their feelings of darkness right where like you were just feeling extremely lost like not really knowing what your future was going to be looking like a week from now a month from now like you just didn't like every there's just so much uncertainty uh that's been in your life taurus and i feel like just the clarity is coming in here not only because of the six of wands which talks about like public recognition like a spotlight being put on to you uh taurus but also the sun representation as well which is the best card in the tarot deck darling all right that's like the antithesis of the moon energy really all right how you get out of this dark space Taurus all right is associated with exuding more of this queen of wands energy here the more that you exude the queen storyline of the queen of wands which is like falling forward with a passion of yours Taurus I feel like some of you guys have been sitting on something like you know the queen of wands journey that you're meant to go on by me even talking about it probably even at the beginning when I was shown the ace of swords in my head Taurus talking about your career you probably immediately knew what it was that you should be putting more energy into all right in fact I know this because of that high priestess is exposing you darling all right so you can't even get out of it all right you can't get out of this i know you i know for a fact you know the next step that you need to take but because you've been in this survival mode for quite a while now right you are really in your head here taurus i want to be saying darling all right and you may just be in your head because of the fact of just like the life that you have been having to deal with the kind of life um the obstacles that you've been having to deal with for quite some time here but there is like this message here, Taurus, where it's like spirit wants you to wake up. And the only way for you to really wake up to your potential again and to really start like you have these blockages, but these blockages are stuff that you could easily just burst through if you were to exude that Queen of Wands energy, taking more risks, giving yourself more credit, following with your passion, trusting your intuition, trusting your gut instinct more because you guys are very instinctual, Taurus. You know what you need to do. You know the groundwork, you know the groundwork that you need to set to lay, um, to create something successful when it comes to your home life, when it comes to building a business, like whatever it is, you know the steps that you need to take to solidify your life more but the scary part for you is because you have been consistently just in this place of the unknown you're many of you Tauruses are just looking for that comfort all right some of you Tauruses might have been recently wishing that you could like manifest like someone in your soul tribe to relate to you in some way all right you may be around a bunch of people right now Taurus but right now for you you just feel so isolated and so alone because 
nothing makes sense to you uh right now and honestly for some of you guys you don't want to have to be the strong one all the time anymore it's like you're having to be i see you having to be strong for your social circle i mean yeah for your social circle i see you having to be strong taurus for everyone else around you but who's being strong for you taurus all right that's the thing like i feel as if physically like and you may try to challenge this taurus right but i feel as if physically you guys have it going on potential wise talent wise beauty darling taurus you have it going on but the main issue that you're suffering from is that because you're constant you're just you the people that you love and support like you'll just give your all to each and every single one of them all right you'll always help where you can help even if it's just by your sheer presence uh taurus right because i want to even drill into that it's just like i get for some of you guys it's like your sheer presence taurus really um just uplifts people but no one's checking in on you no one's checking to see taurus that if like there's anything they can do to help you out because it's like you present this way of like where you have it all together all right again you may feel as if you're falling apart taurus but the thing about this is is that like <laughs> you're handling things so much better than how other people would handle them if the roles were reversed and so people don't probably want to like they don't think that they it's necessary for them to approach you to offer help because they're just like oh taurus already has a handle they don't need me all right i'll just be annoying them here all right taurus so what i need you guys to be doing at this time taurus is just asking yourself where you need to um feed your own soul here all right what can we do at this time for you taurus to really get you back into this queen of wands energy of where you have more of a pep to your walk again pep to your step right where you're where you're waking up each day with more passion in your life and not feeling just so drained and tired taurus all right i feel like for a lot of you guys you just need like a mental reset all right if you were, were to just go back to factory settings when it comes to like your brain and your emotions i feel for some of you tauruses you would be golden all right because again it's nothing that you're lacking externally mentally i feel like it's just like the physical aspect i mean not the physical the uh, emotional aspect the relationship that you have with yourself all right some of you guys towards might be feeling as if like opportunities are just avoiding you even all right you feel as if you take one step forward when it comes to your career something looks really promising and then it's taken away just as quickly perhaps right but you have the two of wands stepping forward here you have the opportunity going uh further off into the future here to carve your own path page of wands two of wands here there's a door that's going to be opening up for you for your career here taurus all right that's going to help you get out of that situation six of swords here all right nine of wands in the back of the deck here so stay strong continue being this wounded warrior no uh, wounded warrior here notice i was getting ahead of myself taurus like honey i don't know what's going on here but this is the most channeled message that i've done in quite some time here this is like never really happened before taurus where i was just like full on just like i need to just speak a message honey i feel like i'm a pastor right now but i feel as if for you taurus is like notice how all this wand this fiery this passionate energy is coming in here all right the way you get yourself out of this situation is by leading with your passion again all right you can't be thinking in a place of just logistics now there's a time and a place where you lead with your head and you've been doing that for quite a long time now uh taurus you kind of it's like you had to shut off like the emotional or passionate side of yourself so you could just pay the bills so you could just get on by so you could survive now you are working that part of the brain and now it's time to tap back into the more fiery passionate side of yourself here ask your you know for some of you Tauruses it's such a foreign concept for you that it hasn't because you haven't done it in so long here that you start doubting it but it's like if you were to think back maybe like six ten years ago even Taurus about how you were when you had more of that flame like you're able you're not giving yourself enough credit what it is that you're asking for is not going unheard it's not going on deaf ears Taurus right I want you to know that your spiritual team is coming again like you're not lacking anything it's not as if you're lacking substance you're lacking beauty you have the empress with you darling I might I mean darling like you can't ask for anything better things these people your soul tribe is coming towards you as quickly as they can darling all right as quickly as they can but ten of swords energy here I want to be challenging some of you Tauruses on your relation like your relationship with relationships all right 
right with friendships family people who you trust people who you open up to i feel like again there's like this sense of challenging of when it comes to the people that you are that you allow in your close circle like maybe this is like trust issues on your end or afraid of being vulnerable because i get like the sense again as i was saying at the beginning of your reading tours where it's just like some of you guys need to ask for help and you would be pleasantly surprised by who would walk with you or who would offer their assistance if they knew that you needed help Taurus here and I feel like that's a lesson for some of you guys once you get better about um it's almost like this sense of humbling yourself Taurus all right I know some of y'all may not want to be hearing that but it's like this sense of humbling yourself all right some of you guys Taurus have this idea of like being perceived and again because you've always had to be strong for other people right you want to be always perceived in this strong, empowered place, but nothing is more empowering, Taurus. Nothing is stronger than an individual when no, than an individual that knows when they need to humble themselves and ask for help. All right, don't allow your pride or your ego to get in the way of allowing new connections to open up, because that's the thing for you, Taurus. All right, Page of Cups energy after the fact here. What you could have. So so many valuable connections coming towards you if you were to just open up more but the universe it's almost as if for some of you uh tauruses it's like this almost like sick it's not sick but it's just like you might feel like it's a sick game almost for you taurus where it's just like the universe is going to put you in these situations where it's overwhelming for you seven of swords to the point of where you have to practice humility humility and ask for help all right it's almost the sense of like your spiritual team on some level wants to not break you Taurus, because you're never going to be broken all right but they want you to it's like this sense of where you need to hit like a certain level of a rock bottom of where you finally learn to ask for help from other people because it serves no purpose for your spiritual team to bring forward people in your life because they have before uh Taurus. they absolutely have before brought p certain people in your life um but you or the other person was not ready or other persons were not ready for the that type of dynamic that type of relationship when it comes to trusting what have you so you have to be doing your part Taurus, and when it comes to your relationship with relationships and see where you could improve your yourself all right because i'm hearing it's like spirit has been giving you these people they have such they have like people lined up for you just based off of your tarot cards taurus but they are waiting for you to be of the headspace to be able to receive it from a healthy way and have it actually benefit you it serves no one any good to bring forth people in your life that are meant for you if you're not ready and able to receive their love receive their guidance or be vulnerable to the situation all right taurus so just keep that in mind if you're wondering why you're feeling certain stuck in ways challenge yourself all right taurus so this has been a crazy weekly tarot reading i've had my camera cut off the lightning strike in front of my yard taurus is crazy all right so your oracle card for this week here is the first quarter moon in virgo assessing the situation here taurus all right look at what it is that you can do to improve or where you can be challenging yourself here do you ask yourself taurus do you still need to be in the survival mode do you still need to be perceived in this way of where you're helping everyone else and be perceived in this place of being extremely empowered all right is it really necessary to be placed seen in this way or is it better for you to practice some humility and ask for help and see who comes forward to you don't just immediately dismiss it and be like oh no one's gonna help me you know because some of you tauruses you know i mean it's just a human thing it's not just about tauruses some humans will sometimes in order to avoid confrontation or in order to avoid certain things they'll tell themselves that they know how certain people are going to act or how the outcome is going to be so they they get comfortable with the idea of never taking that risk because they tell themselves they know what the outcome is going to be you never know what the outcome is going to be until you do it tour so take that risk it's all about probability sure there might be a big chance for one thing to happen but there's still a chance for something else entirely different to happen to us remember that there's more than just your reality that's going on darling all right so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you Taurus. we kind of went crazy honey all right um thank you so much for this uh allowing me to do this now remember Taurus, if you enjoyed this tarot reading let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe if you want to book a private reading with me Taurus, my website's linked down down below simply .com. next to my social medias if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level tiktok and instagram are both